way north. Um, we pray for people who are still without homes, people who may still be without jobs, people who may have lost friends or family members. We also pray for people who are working to get the power restored along the Gulf, po Gulf Coast so that life could uh, somehow start to return to something more like normal down there. And of course, we also pray for the situation out west where the droughts and the wildfires continue. So we pray for everyone who has lost property or employment or loved ones as a result of those and for all the people working to get those fires under control. So Lord, now at this time we pause to pray silently for our country. Lord, we also pray for our local communities today. And in particular, uh, here at the beginning of a, another school year, we pray for everyone uh, involved in the schools in our community. We pray for all the kids at Kent Center School and for the staff and the teachers there and also for the folks at Kent School and South Kent and Marvelwood and, 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 and for kids who are involved in, in schools in any district in our area. We pray that this would be, a, once again, a, a great year of, of learning and teaching for everyone. Um, and that, that, that you would keep the kids safe and keep the teachers safe and, um, and that it would just, it would be a good year. So now, Lord, we pause so that we can pray silently for our communities. And finally, O oh Lord, we pray for us. We pray for everybody gathered here this morning, for our families and friends, and for all of the lives that somehow touch ours. Lord, we give you thanks for your blessings of the week that has passed, and we pray that you'll be with us in everything we do in the week to come. At this time, Lord, we remember the Donzella family and the Osborne family. We remember Peggy. We commend to your care all the prayer requests on our parish prayer list, and of course, all the prayer requests that sit silently on each and every heart this morning. And now, Lord, we pause to pray silently for ourselves and for others. And finally, Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks that you have heard our prayers and that having heard them, you will answer them as may be best for us. Lord, we give you thanks that you have heard our prayers and we pray all of these things in the strong name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, and who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And this brings us to the offering. So once again, I'll just remind you that uh, we won't be physically receiving the offering, but if you'd like to leave your offering in the basins at either the back or the front of the church, uh, we would be delighted to receive them. And now if you'd uh, stand and join me in singing the doxology.
Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for your many gifts of the past week, for they are signs of your gracious love. Receive now our offering, we pray. Take it, multiply it, and put it to your use. Put it to your use in our church, in our community, and around our world. For we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now if you join me in our final hymn, which is number 478, or 7, excuse me, 748, Lord, dismiss us with your blessing. You may be seated. Now, if you take a look in your bulletin, you'll see that there's something after the benediction. Um, we dropped the congregational response during the pandemic because, well, because there was no congregation to respond. Um, but now that we have a congregation again, uh, we thought we would bring the congregational response back. So after, uh, after the benediction, uh, we'll sing through the third verse of our second hymn which is there's a wideness in God's mercy. And now, my friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. <laughs>